G's the general. I gotta hold it down for the 905 and say shout out to 101. Yo, what's going on? So, with Carl Lewis, in Canada, rapper over there. So, how's it going, Carl? What's going on yourself, dude? Good, man. Um, just chilling. Been working a lot. Super busy, you know? Okay. Trying to get this album ready. Okay, okay. I'm ready to drop it September 30th, so. Damn, man. That's it. Not long now. End of the month. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Time is flying. It's really crazy. It's gotta be done though, you gotta make the progress where you can, you know what I'm saying? Like it has to be done, it has to be done. Mm -hmm. It's been piece by piece for sure, like uh, it took forever, like everything, getting everything together between like SoCan and distribution and like actually recording and paying for beats, it's a process for sure, man. Anybody said it was easy, definitely bullshit. <laughs> Not real shit though, like there's a lot, there is a long process to go through to get these things right, you know what I'm saying? People just think they can just kind of win it nearly all the way through and that's it, like. Don't want some bullshit. <laughs> yeah, sure. yeah, so many people think they can just pick up a mic and then be like, okay, I'm a musician. <laughs> well, that's not it. like that, right? No, it doesn't work like that. There's a business aspect to it as well and all the rest of it too that comes with it. So people have got to kind of be smart about it. Yeah, the business, it seems, it seems the business aspect is more like prevalent than the actual music itself, you know what I mean? Like if, if you know that more, you have a better chance than than being super talented. Well, this is real, you know what I'm saying? 90% business, 10% music. And that's what they say. That is what they say. Yeah. Okay, so let's, let's kick this off real quick. So what age did you merge into the music industry, my brother? Me? Uh, um, the actual music industry, I never became like a part of until like recently. But making music, like I started when I was 10. Like I started uh, around my mom used to do like karaoke, sing country, all that stuff, right? So I got exposure with that. And then uh, my sisters, everybody had a different type of music. So I had all those different uh, people, like, you know, like giving uh, examples of the types of music to listen to. So it was pretty cool. Okay, okay, definitely, definitely, definitely. So, like, are you, so I'm assuming that you're, like, a kind of multi-genre kind of person you don't like just, like, one kind of thing, you kind of open-minded to different things like that? Yeah, for sure. I like, uh, I like everything, to be honest. I like to blend different styles. I like rap, R&B, rock, country, pop, pretty much anything. Like, if you put a beat in front of me, if I feel a vibe, I'm like a, like a mood writer. Yeah. So if I'm in a certain mood, I'll put a certain type of time to make music, right? Okay, okay. No, that's what's up. That's yeah, that's my method. <clears throat> okay, so yeah. you were 10 when you, when you started doing it. Well, shit. Wow, that's, yeah. that's so nice. So it's 25 years I've been making music. A long time. It's your both time, man. But, like, I used it for medication for a long time, right? It's all my mental stuff. And until all my friends kept pushing me, they're like, yo, you got to release this stuff. <laughs> So I yeah, see, I started uh, that, putting more work in recently, right? Yeah, no, definitely. Sometimes you definitely need, mm -hmm. need that kick. Definitely, definitely, definitely. So this is a weird one. But yeah, it was worth it. Cause... Sorry, go on. No, go ahead. It's all... I was going to say, um, <clears throat> so can you remember the place where you were when you decided you wanted to become a rapper? Yeah, for sure. Um, I was living in Fort Erie, actually, uh, as a kid, like a young teenager and stuff like that, right? So I met this, uh, this African man, like this, well, teenager at the time, now he's a man, like greatest guy I ever met. His name was Joshua Belgicubo and we like meshed, right? So I got, uh, the culture of the Caribbean vibe, the African vibe, like all that music and they all make music, record reggae, all that stuff. So that's like where I first like started being like, yo, I could actually do this. You know, I got really got into reggae and stuff like that and rap and all that genre. Uh, then I moved away from Fort Erie and basically uh, came to the falls back, like back. I've been back and forth to, uh, from every city in the region, pretty much like 20, 30 cities. <laughs> it's ridiculous. But I've worked with almost every artist. That's what pushed me, like meeting all these different people from back in the day. So, oh, And I just keep meeting new artists, which is really blessed. No, of course. There's always new people coming up every day. You know, people are just popping out the woodwork all the time, all the time. I know Fort Erie is pretty good. Um, 
I worked with a couple of different people in the Niagara uh, province. Uh, some good talent out there, man. Real stuff. Real talk. Real talk. So yeah, shit. I noticed that. I thought literally you had like at least beat, like uh, beats with all kinds of people that I've seen, like that I've worked with and like yeah. that I've heard from in my area anyway, you know? No, I got in there. So, yeah, that's blessed for sure. <laughs> I got some beats on the way. <laughs> That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. So, okay, so like, who was your inspiration or who did you listen to when you were growing up? Which, obviously, you said the country. Like my stuff. favorite artist? But like, um, so like, who made I'll just it? give you like a top 10. I have like the biggest impact. I don't have like one certain one, but I have like a core group of <clears throat> artists that I constantly like i would listen to music when i was growing up like eight to ten hours i would annoy people like i'd be constantly just bumping like yeah turn that and rack it down you know but, um like big l nas uh bone thugs papoose tupac uh fabulous dr dre eminem dmx and wu-tang that's like my classic my main classic core group of classic, artists classic 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 sure. no that classic one real shit like they're some very powerful figures do you know what i'm saying in in the hip-hop industry and, and like just in general like because of the messages that they've sent out and the different things that they've done do you know what i'm saying so yeah for sure. real shit i've probably listened to half of them as well oh, nipsey <clears throat> can't forget nipsey Nipsey. Uh, that's definitely up on my list for sure okay 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 so <laughs> So what do you think about like their music now then? Like obviously like, you know, Tupac and different things like like isn't about anymore. But like what do you think about how like have you heard any of their new music? Like are you still keeping current with them or like, you know, are they putting out much more music at the moment? Like, you know, what's the school with that? <clears throat> like which which ones? Like uh most a lot of them are dead, actually. Well that's the, it, the yeah. only ones that are really around now, but that list I gave you is like uh Dr. Dre, Eminem fabulous you know some wu-tang members dmx bone like big l's dead tupac's dead biggie's dead like all the big artists from back then are dead you know what i mean yeah. but out of the ones that are still around like nas papoose all those guys even bone thugs that's um i keep up on their music for sure i i listen to all their stuff constantly like i don't really listen to like a, a really ton of music you know i stick to a certain for my own personal sounds yeah, but when it comes to creation, I uh, I dabble in a little bit of everything. No, of course I understand you. It's good because it gives you different influences from different areas, so you can kind of pull inspiration from from different things, and then you know <laughs> it makes the process yeah. easier. It gives you more to speak on, you know. Yeah, no, of course, of course, it can it can make you yeah. feel different ways and bring up different emotions and thoughts and feelings within yourself. You know what I'm saying? Which then will help you in the creative process of writing. And, then laying down. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah. No, I get you. I get you. I get you. Okay. Yeah. Sure. So, at this moment in time, what are you most passionate about? Uh, I'm most passionate about like my music and the impact it can have because like I've seen so many people come up and like the ones that actually had an impact and what they were able to to do in the communities and the the legacy they leave behind. You know, that's what I want to really have for sure. I want to do a lot of things so that like. I, I leave a positive energy that can shift all that negative out of the way, at least temporarily, while I'm around, you know what I mean? And even after I'm gone, hopefully. <laughs> well, that's good, though. That's, it's always good. As a, there's a lot of negative energy and different things going on in the world today. Do you know what I'm saying? There's constant negativity. Yeah. <clears throat> so the fact that you're trying to do something positive, like, just that in itself is, is golden. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't get a lot of people. Yeah, sure. Even that conscious, bro, like, real shit. Like, you don't even get people that that conscious. They just talk crap. So, yeah. Kudos. That's bro. what it is. Like, I've, I've found a way to, like, like, my the thing I'm trying to work on is uh, be, a, like, a really conscious rapper, but at the same time have, like, work with the vibe they have nowadays. You know what I mean? So it's, yeah. like, appeals to more than one generation like, simultaneously. I'm hoping so it like a more modernized <laughs> conscious rap sort of style. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. No, that's that's and at the same time I still make like club bangers and stuff like that, but yeah. Yeah, you've got to have some hype music. You definitely gotta have some hype music. Definitely, definitely. Okay. Okay. So yeah. 
why do you make the music that you do? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, obviously you said it's for uh, my main goal. Do you know what I'm saying? Behind the positive energy behind it. But yeah. is there any more to it than that? <clears throat> uh, yeah. My main goal, like, since I was a kid, since I started making music, is I've always had this vision to, like, uh, to have a place. I want to have a music community collaboration center like type of thing this is my end goal like after if i become successful with music or whatever i i do in life i want to build yeah. a music community center right where anybody can come top of the notch all the bells and whistles you know what i mean like everything like from recording yeah. to mixing to videos and you don't have to pay a dime or a dollar it's just the community coming together working with ideas you know because nobody does that everybody's just trying to get super rich off it don't doubt don't uh doubt the fact that i want to make money obviously i'm trying to like get my music up and sell it but that's not my my main mission i'm not watching the money i'm just hoping that uh i can leave an impact you're just following your passion and you're trying to trying to give people yeah. another outlet as well okay okay mm -hmm. that's respect man because i had a heavy struggle with that. you had a what sorry uh, i had a heavy struggle with trying to find like growing up trying to find uh, places to record and all this different stuff it was like I had a few friends but to get to actually have a good outlet and get quality music it was damn near impossible to find like like now everywhere I look I'm what I'm meeting people that are just phenomenal you know what I mean from Kid Hits the producer from uh, St. Catharines he's absolutely amazing he uh, also has a clothing line um yeah. Greasy from uh from Brampton is amazing too did that go song I sent you yeah. So yeah, there's uh, a lot of good people and quality. Okay, okay. That's what I'm all about. I know I've noticed Canada's got a lot of talent out there. Real shit. There's a yeah, lot. Yeah, lately of especially, <laughs> man. I don't know what it is because it's like a pool. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, it's just the energy is just crazy over there. You guys are just, you're a different kind of breed, man. Different kind of breed of people. Real shit. Yeah, man. We're trying to make it for sure. Hungry, I think that's what it is. America's had the torch for so long with hip hop, right? <laughs> yeah, no, that's it. No, that's real shit. It's trying to break, exactly. away, trying to break through, do something different. <clears throat> so, mm -hmm. when you're like, do you have any rituals or routines before writing or heading to the studio? Like, is there anything like maybe weird or uh, do you, like do you just do? Uh, absolutely, absolutely. Do you mean when I'm uh, writing or when I'm recording? <laughs> Like before uh, I record or before both. I write? Both. Uh, when I write, usually I'm so, I have oh, super bad OCD, right? So everything around me has to be like symmetrical. I lay out all the paper, like all the paper, okay. electronics, anything I'm going to use, right? It has to be visually appealing. <laughs> and then I like, you know, I clean up, shower, do whatever, right? So I get in that, that mode, I smoke a nice bowl and I'm good to, good to go, right? <laughs> That's okay. My, uh, my routine. So, what do they say? Clean space. Clean space. What is it? What is it? What is it? They say something about a clean space and then a clean mind, something like that. Oh, I know what you mean. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Oh, I can't remember. Get the concept, sure. Okay. So, were you were you like ever mentored, or were you, did you kind of just pick all this stuff up by yourself? Like, did you just just one day just pick it all up, or like? Um, teach you or Mentored, like I would say no one like actually like taught me person I learned through consequence basically because growing okay. up I was just really I was a rebel right so I, I whatever I got punished by my parents they would make me rewrite the dictionary and the bible like so many fucking times like my vocabulary grew right so English became my favorite language I that's basically what kept me on the writing path as well with the music. Okay. So I was able to combine the two skills. It worked out really well for me. That's interesting because, like, obviously, you know, when we 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 all have our own lives, and then we all have we all had our own consequences, <laughs> punishments, and stuff. But I've never heard of that one before. So that's really, it's interesting. Yeah, it was a smart smart punishment. You know, it was not. I wouldn't even look at it as a punishment actually now now that i look at it back looking back then it was i would hate it at, you know what i mean i was like damn fuck this shit sitting here <laughs> yeah. but now i'm like wow okay like without it i wouldn't have the vocabulary you have so it's like it's a blessing for sure 
Yeah, that's a silver lining, isn't it? That's what it is, real shit. Okay, so are there any resources that you use um, that have helped you like advance in your career at all? So either resources in regards to anything, marketing skills, maybe you know, maybe someone's helped you get up or get through a door by knowing a person or something else. That is, you know what I'm saying, like to help you advance in your in your career. Uh, basically. <clears throat> With the music aspect of things, like, everywhere I went, like, it may not have been, like, the best quality studios and stuff like that growing up. Now it is, but yeah, everywhere I went, it seemed, there, everyone was making music. Like, there was a studio here, there was a mic here, like, everywhere. So there wasn't, like, a problem accessing the ability to record. It was just the quality yeah. thing, right? But, yeah, when it comes to, like, actual people that helped me, a lot of people helped me through the years. Not as much with like the music aspect, like a couple people, obviously groups that I was that I worked with helped me evolve, and I learned certain I'm self out like hundred percent self taught sure <clears throat> okay, okay, <clears throat> so what would you say is your like your best quality in music? Do you know what I'm saying like is your ear super fine tuned or like is it your lyrical? Is, is it your ability to write lyrically or is it like a speed flow or like, you know, what would you say is your best? I don't know, like to really like up myself up like that, but um, I'd have to say like my, my best trait, like my best skill with, uh, with the music is like the consistency, sorry, being able to like rhyme anything with pretty much anything while writing the beat, you know what I mean? And yes. tell a story at the same time. It's like the triple, <clears throat> triple threat, you know? That's how I look at it. For that thing. No, I like that. I like that. That's uh, it's that's. I bet that's something that a lot of rappers find hard to do. Do you know what I'm saying? Like artists and things like this. So, mm. oh, definitely, definitely. It took a long time, man. Years. It's not. Oh easy, yeah. For sure. Yeah. No, none of this shit comes overnight. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm. No, no. Okay. So if it did, it wouldn't be worthwhile. That's it, though. No, that's real, though. Like that's really real. It would not be. If it was that easy, it wouldn't be any fun. You know what I'm saying? It'd be fun for a little That's bit. That's where you get, put it down. get those people that aren't humble, you know? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I get you. I get you completely. So what do you wish you knew now when you started out doing this whole long, long journey that you've been doing for like two and a half decades? Like, what, um, do, you, what do you wish you knew back then? I'd have... I have to say the most, like the thing I really, really wish I knew back then was the the business aspect of things like that side. Because I focused so hard on like, I would just go on my own day, like years, not even days, like years on end, just writing, 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 and piling up. I had, at one point I had like four, you know, those U-Haul boxes or whatever. Oh they shit. Use, four Damn. scrap paper, rhyme books, it was insane. But yeah, basically that's, uh, I wish I knew the music business aspect that's what it's, I it's, it's a lot it's a lot like it's very, it's very important to know these types of things like i'm sure you're a lot further on now you know with being more active recently i'm sure you've done your research into different things like this but yeah there's a lot yeah it is 90 percent business 10 percent music and that's it's sad because you would think you know making music is all about you know that passion for that music and you know actually getting it that, that that kind of uh, emotions or feelings or thoughts or whatever off your chest and things but then when there's a an aspect of money yeah. it, it turns into something completely different you know what i'm saying so yeah because it's like it's that a lot of artists instead of uh, artists i've noticed uh that's why that starving artist uh stigma you know what i mean they're, they're trying to like uh make it you know we just want to eat we just want to live like a normal life with what we love doing yeah. pretty much that's the goal with it but it's a struggle it is hard for sure oh it is it's like any other craft though do you know what i'm saying it's like you become an artist and you paint and things like this you know it's not just gonna make money like that and be put up in um mm -hmm. it's you a know. Process. Yeah. yeah yeah no real talk real talk it does take time it takes time to get the brand out there to get recognized and everything else it is it is uh straight in but at the same time it's worth it in the end when you start you know you start seeing the, um engagement and different things and and uh wheels moving real tough so that's I what it is once people start paying attention it's like it's 
it's uh it's motivating you know what i mean it makes yeah. you want to do more and like you know <clears throat> no i understand you completely i understand you completely um so in that in that respect how do you feel about your music and like what's your kind of how do you feel about the engagement that you get off people um since i started releasing actually since i started making music like actually taking it seriously and writing and everybody's always told me that i was like really good with it that's simply yeah. because of the vocabulary aspect right because i was able to, yeah, yeah. to make really good music and it was the quick the aspect of being pretty quick with it was good too but i'm also meticulous i'm a messy writer when i sit down with a rhyme book like you'll see me i'm turning the rhyme book and drawing <laughs> on the side <laughs> It's like a tornado of fucking words, but in the end, I rewrite it like four or five times, and it comes out good. So, <clears throat> okay, okay. So, like, do you have any projects ongoing at the moment? And uh, if you do, you know, how do you feel they're going? Uh, I have uh, album dropping on September thirtieth, like I was saying in the beginning, and um, I'm just hoping it goes off the way I planned it it's, i've got a little bit of something for everybody with it you know storytelling music that tells like deep stuff that people don't even really know about me all that um club bangers r&b stuff like singing songs yeah i even have an idea to put a country song on it so it's basically oh, just shit. uh just the promo is what's left <clears throat> yeah okay okay dope well i'm looking forward to this i'm um i'm definitely oh and in the next sorry to interrupt but in the next uh i'm hoping it's tonight or tomorrow or something i got the confirmation email earlier so the two singles uh the spaz one and the feels real that i sent you they'll be up on all platforms so that'll be good to go and then okay, the 30th so the rest of the album would be what are they gonna go with the rest of the album or are you gonna you're gonna do them separately like what's... they're part of the album but i just yeah. released them as singles so i could get a little something out there in the meantime you know like a, a teaser for the album kind of thing yeah i understand so when are they going to be releasing have you got dates like is it going to be in the next week, um, next couple of days i'm hoping it's either like tonight or tomorrow like because i got the email and they said within two to three days so it should oh. not be long i'm really hoping it's <laughs> yeah. like it was the holidays right like a holiday over here so everything was a little bit uh like a waiting game <clears throat> yeah no of course everything gets kind of put on hold i get you i get exactly where you're coming from it's all good yeah, yeah. so have you got anything you want to say to the people who are watching this right now? Uh, add me on Instagram. I am the general knowledge. Uh, add me on Facebook, G knowledge. I'll be on all platforms soon. Same name under the same name. Uh, check me out. Yeah, vibe out, you know, if you like it. Subscribe, like, share. I promote you. Promote, we like collab, you know, we're together. Oh, and at the same time, keep an eye out for these custom-made rhyme books I got coming. I'm gonna make you one OBZ. Yeah, they look, they look, they look hot. They look yeah. hot. real shit. I'm looking forward yeah, to seeing man. the finished products, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Gonna yeah, go. so, it's gonna be absolutely sick. So yeah, the 30th of September. Yeah. yeah. An album. It's gonna be wicked. The next couple of days, got the two singles dropping, and yeah, you got the. Yeah. Rest of I'm gonna them. start working on your beats that you're gonna send me soon. I'm gonna get those done. Yeah. Put those up as uh, yeah, it's gonna be good. Man. Oh, real shit, real shit. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna put your social media link afterwards after we finish this, so you know people can go check you out straight okay. away. Everything will get put in the description, you know what I'm saying? But apart from that, um, much, much love for coming on, Carlos. Yeah. I know it's still, it's getting on, it's getting on a little bit right now, but yeah. it was a pleasure. It was a pleasure, my brother. So, yeah, it was a blast, man. I appreciate it for sure. Oh, good. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, anytime you want to send your beats or anybody want to send beats to the Bam Fam uh, free music promo page, go ahead, man. Anybody. Anybody that's watching this, you, all that yeah. stuff. I like uh, hearing what everybody has to offer. So that's it. We're gonna get all the information. And we're gonna put it right at the end. Hit of this me video. up, everybody. It's gonna be fucking sick. Apart from that, yeah. OBZ Respect, beat, man. G knowledge. You know what it is. OBZ beat. Knowledge. Alright, interview. Yeah, you know Have a good one. We out.